Hello, Marcus Lim here, and in this video, I'm going to take you through the process of creating a very high quality video using Video Maker FX. Now, a bit of a background. I'm not a stranger to creating videos, so I do a lot of videos myself, uh, whether it's those PowerPoint videos, or screencast videos, or even those motion graphics videos. Um, you know, that's got fancy animation and logos and flashy whiz-bang special effects and stuff. And for a lot of those videos, you need some kind of software like After Effects. And the problem is that with those types of software, the learning curve is uh, quite steep, right? So it does take a while to learn. And there are, of course, ways to overcome that, right? You can always get someone uh, on Fiverr, you know, or hire someone on Elance to do the videos for you. Um, but um, I've never come across like a video, like Video Maker FX, which makes the process almost um, point and click, right? So this is quite game changing. Um, so let me quickly step you through the process, right? Create a new project. Uh, so uh, I'll quickly create a new project and I'll give this a name. Uh, first video, create project. And um, <clears throat> the way VideoMaker FX works is it works pretty much like uh, PowerPoint or Keynote on a Mac in a sense that you've got multiple slides that you keep adding uh, to form a, a video, right? So, for example, let me click on Add Slide. So, so in, immediately you get all these different themes. Like if you, if you want to do a video sales letter, uh, see this is it's got all the um, templates, right, for you already. Uh, if you want to do something like a fancy whiteboard thing, uh, you've got those as well. Whiteboard set. Right, so this is kind of like my favorite, right? So it's got whiteboard set one. It's got all these slides that are done for you already. Uh, you know, uh, are you and you you can edit each of these. All the different elements on the slides very easily, uh, and I will uh, add all slides, and immediately you can see that uh, it's populated with all the slides. And let me pick one slide. Let's say this slide here, and let me pick uh, text area one, and I'm going to edit the text. So right now it says we we'll, we can help you. Uh, and let me just say something like, this is very cool, okay? So you can see that it updates in real time, you can see exactly what it looks like uh, on in the preview window over here. And for shapes, you know, I can control the color, for example, color of the background. If I do that, immediately it changes the color of the background. Uh, you can choose to disable it uh, if you don't want uh, any uh, shape in the background. But that's pretty much it, like very simple process, right, of creating a video. The final step is that I will uh, preview this, right, so that's the preview of what the final project looks like. So, don't you want you to use the first slide? Um, and then you go on to the second slide. We have the solution for you, your service, um, and then a description of the websites, well, the uh, URL of the websites and so on and then you just keep going slide by slide okay uh, audio settings now this is quite cool as well right because uh, you can actually select uh, some of these 
uh, existing videos that are provided for you already. Um, for example, this one. Yep. So all these MP3s are available s straight out of the box. Uh, and if you want your own uh, voice track, you can even import that. Right? Let's say you are doing a voiceover. Well, you can do that. You can import your own voice track. And the final step is simply to click Export Project. You have a, a range of different resolution that, uh, you can, resolutions that you can export to, like the uh, 720p, which is 1280 by 720. Let me just do good, and I shall. Uh, ex yep, that's fine. I will ex click export start, and I shall pause this while it does its rendering and come back once it's finished. Okay, so it's nearly done rendering the slides. Um, didn't really take that long. Um, it's about, I don't know, 10 seconds a slide, so about 2 minutes for this particular project. Now encoding process. Okay, done. Export complete. So let me go and so let me uh, open the video folder uh, and then I'll show you the video. So first video dot mp4 about 19 megabytes and here you go. It's about uh, how long is this? More than a minute long. Okay. So it looks pretty good to me. Just a few clicks and I managed to uh, get a really high quality looking uh, whiteboard style video. Um, you know, in the past that would have taken uh, ages to do. Even if you have a software tool like After Effects. Uh, but now you can do it so quickly um, just by pointing, clicking, changing some of the text um, and off you go. So, uh, you know, hope that you grasped the power of this software uh, from my demonstration and uh, yeah, do grab a copy for yourself.